Uh, blessings, blessings uh, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to thank God for this new day. I want to thank you for those of you who are following us. And I want to speak the word of God. I want to say that confrontation with the real person, the real issue and the real solution. How do you know the real you? The real you. Knowing the real you takes you to have the solutions, to have the answers for every situation in your life. How do others see you and how do you see yourself? You know, do you see yourself the same way others see you? Why is it that you are not the real ones, that other people see you outside? We want to look at the real person in you. That is the true person who can cause you to succeed in life or to become a failure in life. But when God is going to change your life, he takes you through a journey. He takes you through, through a journey of discovering the true issue of your life, the true problems, the truth within you. Before he deals with your life, he will want you to understand the things I'm about to share with you. So the real you is the person hidden within that makes you feel guilty, that makes you feel disappointed, feel discouraged, feel helpless, feel hopeless, and sometimes you feel weak. Confronting that person in you, the one that is hidden to the public, the one that people outside cannot see, there is a way you are seen outward. People may be celebrating you outside. But for you, when you see the real person you are, you feel so much discouraged. You feel so much, you know, discouraged. You feel so much hopeless. So that is the, the real problem that you are supposed to confront. So that you can have a successful life. So that you can reach your breakthrough. So that you can, because you have, you struggle so much in life, but sometimes you don't understand why you are the way you are. So there is this person, the hidden person, the person within, the person that the public cannot see, but that is the person who may be causing all the failings and the failures you are experiencing in your life. So this is the person that we want to deal with. You don't need to run away from this really person you are. Sometimes we don't want to accept the truth within us. We think things can happen otherwise, but it's not so. For any person to have a progressive life, for any person to have a great change, not only what we see outside, but to have this happiness, to have the joy, that God promises you to have. You have to confront the problem within you. To confront the true person. You have to face that person and say, I want to have a change in my life. So you cannot live a joyful life. You cannot live a peaceful life. You cannot live a purposeful life. Unless you identify and confront the real you that is keeping you from succeeding. Sometimes we hope for miracles. We want things to happen the way we feel. But yet there is an inward challenge within us that we don't want to face as people. Uh, we don't want to face the true issue, the true person that is holding you back. You know, the toughest battle of life is not to win others but the toughest part of life is to win ourselves to win who you are that person within you that hidden man within you hey because that's where before you see any outward progress you you achieve your victory that you are looking for there is the person who is trying to wrestle within you. There is a person you must be willing to wrestle with and overcome. That person who pulls you back. Sometimes they want to win others. What you will say in life, no, I'm better than that person. I, she cannot put me down. She cannot overlook me. She cannot undermine you. But what if, what if the real person in you is feeling so down? 
Is it feeling so discouraged? You know, it has no boldness, has no strength within you. A successful life is reached when we are willing to identify. You must be willing to identify as a child of God or as a person. You must be willing to identify and then confront the major issues of life. Because the major issues of life, its source originates from us. When we are defeated within, we cannot win outside. When we are defeated within, we cannot, you know, we cannot be powerful outside. Everything begins within you. The truth inside you is the truth that will always be reflected outside. That is the good thing with the people who know God. When you come to know God, when you believe in God, the first thing God deals with his people is that kind of person within because before he does things with you, before he works through you, before he, he moves you and he uses you, God, first of all, deals with that average person within you, that person who is shy, that person who is shameful, that person who is discouraged, that person who, who covers up outside, but when within, things are not all right. Are you all right in your heart? That person within, the real person that is holding most of us down. That real person, whenever you try to do anything, it tells you, no, you cannot do it. You are like this. Your past cannot allow you. You will never become any, any person in life. So this is why I'm saying we can confront the real person in you. So that God can be able to work in your life and make you somebody that is planning you to be. You shouldn't be shaken by anything you see outside. So many things are happening in our world today. There is this COVID-19. They are telling us there is now this one is terrible that is coming. But I want to tell you what you feel within you. If you can feel the power of God and you understand what God is saying to you, you will be able to overcome this world and its manipulation and what they want to do with your life. So I want to take you in the word of God in the Bible. In John chapter 4, John chapter 4 verse, uh, verse 16 to 18, there is a story of this Samaritan woman. A woman who met with Jesus, the Bible says Jesus was uh, passing through her community, was passing through the Samaritan land. And he went through the land, and here there was a well. At the well, he met this woman. In verse 16, Jesus said to this woman, but before we reach verse 16, Jesus wanted water. Because the woman had come to fetch water. And Jesus wanted this woman to give him some water because Jesus, the Bible says he was tired and his disciples had gone in the village to buy some food. And Jesus here, he was alone at the well. And here comes this woman. I want, I want to talk about this woman because I'm bringing her to you as an example of a person who never wanted to confront her issue, to confront her weakness, to see the problem she was facing so that she can be able to overcome it. So this woman, when Jesus saw her, she told her priest, can you give me some water to drink? The woman said, no. Jews and Samaritan, they have no dealings. I cannot give you water. And Jesus told her, no. If you knew the one who, who is asking you for a drink, I know you could have asked him for the water, so that you will never, for the living water, so that you will never be sussed again. And the woman was touched by those words of Jesus. She said, Priest, can you give me that water? And Jesus told this woman, No, you first go and call your husband for me. And this is where now the conversation I'm bringing begins from. When Jesus told her, Go, call your husband and come here, the woman answered and said, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You have well said. 
I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one whom you, know, you now have is not your husband, in that you have spoken truly. I want you now to get this point. This here is a woman who has had five husbands. Jesus is telling her, bring me your husband so that I can give you the living water you are asking for. Now the woman says, I have no husband. She was not willing to confront the problem she was facing as a person. The woman knew the truth. The woman was hiding her real problem. And yet she was looking for the deliverance. The moment she heard that Jesus is a prophet, the woman was looking for the deliverance. She wanted the healing because this woman, the real person in her was hurting, was painful. The woman had been suffering many years. She had marital issues. Jesus told her, you know, you have said the truth. You think you are hiding from me. I want to tell you that there is nothing you can hide from God. Because God is your doctor. It is like going to the, to the physician, going to the doctor. And you know, you have a stomach pain. And even you know the, the root cause of your stomach pain. And you don't want to tell the doctor your problem. Instead of telling your doctor that you have stomach pain, you tell your doctor, I am suffering from headache. You cannot get a solution there. That's how many people are when it comes to come to God, when they are looking for deliverance, when they are looking for the healing. You have to confront the true issue in your life. For God to change your life, for you to receive your miracle, you have to confront the real person in you and overcome that person. So the woman was hiding she was hiding. That's why she told Jesus, I have no husband. And yet she had a man she had left at home. This woman was hurting. Are you hurting in your life? Are you hurting and you don't know how to come out of the situation? You don't know how to come out of that pain? I want to tell you the first step to take is to face the truth. You want a change in your life. Face the real person in you. How, how is that person? Don't hide anything from God. Don't hide anything when you come to me. Don't hide anything when you go to any servant of God. Open up your heart because that's where there is a beginning of your healing. Beginning of your deliverance. So, I wonder what kind of deliverance this woman was looking for. When she was not willing to tell Jesus the truth, she wanted the living water. She wanted the miracle from Jesus. But at the same time, she was hiding herself. She never wanted to open up herself. Maybe because of her past, it was a shameful to her. But maybe also, she never wanted to reveal who she was. You know, God is a great physician. When God is going to heal you, you must be willing to open up your heart to him. Even where you are now, you can kneel down and say, Jesus, this is who I am. You open up. You face the way you are and you say, I want a change in my life. So the same way we cannot hide our sickness from the doctors, let us not hide any of our issues from God. God heals people from within. You want your marriage to heal, but yet you don't want to face the true, real, the real woman you are, the real wife you are. Face yourself and say, no, I want to change. I want to be a good woman. I cannot be backing back at my husband. I want to love my husband. I want to respect my husband because I want this marriage to work for me. Things cannot just work because they prayed for you. Things will always work because you are willing to confront your weak point. You are willing to confront your challenges. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So this woman say, told Jesus, I have no husband. And yet Jesus said, no, you have said the truth it is true. Because even the man you have in your house is not your husband. You see the way this woman wanted the miracle from Jesus, but yet she was not willing to let go 
of the really person she was living, the kind of life she was living. My friend, as I speak to you, God wants to raise you from that situation you are in, from that condition you are in. God is about to heal you because God has sent me purposely to speak to you. God wants to transform your life completely. So, because this woman was hiding from Jesus, there was no way Jesus could have intervened in her life to save her. But when Jesus opened and said, no, you have said the truth, the woman said, now I perceive you are a prophet. You have said everything about me. She surrendered. She accepted the responsibility of change in her life. When you accept the responsibility of change in your life, things begin to take place in your life. We all bear the responsibility for looking into the mirrors of our own souls and deal with what we see there. What do you see within you? See through the mirror of your soul. No one will know what is within you. You can pretend outwardly. You can show people that everything is all right, but you're not deep in your heart. Within your soul, you don't even want to look there. It's like sometimes when people look in the mirror and they hate the way they look. It's the same way. We hate the way we are within, but yet we don't want to confront those issues in our lives. We want just things to change without us taking a responsibility of having that true change take place in our life. So I'm saying that everyone has to bear the responsibility. You have to have the responsibility. You look straight in the mirror of your own soul and deal with what you see there. Remove any evil. Remove any negative thoughts about your own life or even about others. Because God deals with people who are ready to walk in his principles. You cannot overcome an enemy you don't want to know. And an enemy you are afraid of confronting, you cannot win that enemy. God is with you, and God is going to help you and support you. So stop having a blame game. Accept the responsibility. Say, I want a change. I want to be changed. I want to be transformed. I want to see God working in my life. I want to see every promise of God being fulfilled in my life. So you have to confront anything you know that is within you. I want to say, God bless you. Shalom. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube videos. A big and special thanks from our hearts to all our partners and friends from all over the world for your continued support towards the work of God. The anointed woman of God, Pastor Jolly, never stops to pray for your joy, happiness, and peace to your families and in your daily lives. Welcome to the Life Changing Power Program.